All right, what's up, savages? So today I'm gonna show you how to model a mug, and then we'll UV wrap or we'll UV wrap it so we can put an image there. We'll put whatever image you want in there. Uh, but first, I want to get a shout out to Tutor for You. This guy actually uh, taught me how to model a mug. There it is. It's for the uh, previous version of the Blender, Blender 2.79. Now we're in 2.8, so uh, I've done an upgrade on this one. But this guy's a great YouTuber, very calm, very soothing voice. He has all these great videos. Uh, some of this stuff is a little old, <clears throat> but you can transfer over the information to the new uh, version of Blender if you're, if you're experienced using Blender. All right. So first things first, I'm going to delete this cube right here. Execute delete key. Bye-bye cube. And now I'm going to bring in a circle. This is how Tutor for You did it. Shift A. Mesh circle. Not a cylinder, but a circle. A circle. There goes just a ring, just like this has no face just a bunch of vertices and edges now we're going to take it to edit mode tab key for edit mode one on the number pad for front view i'm going to extrude this up i'm going to go up by uh, three blender units so e z three enter there we go uh, there we go so we got our tube there and like i said it has no face so now i'm going to scale it out a bit i have a handout here that i made i'm going to scale it out by 1.3 so 30% more. S 1.3. There you go. So that's all that was the top there. I scaled out, still selected. All right. Now we're going to use the loop cut tool to add edges to it. So I'm going to hover over one of the vertical edges here. Hit control R. And you should get a yellow line. Left click one time and then bring it down. I'm going to bring it down to about uh, two grid marks from the bottom. And the grid marks are these little blender units there, these smaller blender units there. So each of these would be a grid mark. And I'm gonna bring another one up. Notice I have a mouse here. If I have it down here, I control R, then my loop cut will be stuck in there between those two edges. So I'll undo that. So I'm gonna have it over here. And I'm gonna go up about three or four blended units from the top, control R, left click once. And I'm going up, I'm gonna go with right there about three blended units away. I want these faces here available to me because I'm going to use them to uh, UV wrap. So my picture will be a, can be as big as these edges there. That's why I want these faces there. So I'm not gonna add a bunch of loop cuts in there. All right. So I'm gonna fill in the bottom here. Oh, there's another loop cut in there. All right, another loop cut, control R, left click once, and I'll bring it about there. So now I'm gonna hold down the middle mouse button and move up. You can also hit the number two on your number pad so you can see the bottom. I want to select this bottom loop right here so I can fill it in. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, alternate, Alt, hold down the left key, so, uh, sorry, hold down the Alt key, left click that bottom edge, and there we go. We just loop selected that. I'm going to fill it in, F for fill. There we go, filled it in, and I got my uh, my cup there, like Yahtzee. Anyone ever play Yahtzee? All right, so now I'm going to use some modifiers. First, I'm going to use a solidify modifier. Thicken this up. So I'm going to go over here to the modifier in the property tab, the blue wrench. Add modifier and go down to solidify. Solidify, here we go. And right here, the thickness, I can increase it and get a thicker mug there. All right, so looking thicker. Now I'm going to bring in the um, subdivision surface modifier to smooth this out. You can see here it looks very rough. Add modifier, subdivision surface. There we go. I'm going to bring these renders up to three. The render in the viewport here. The higher I go, the smoother it gets. But if I go too high, it'll, um, it can crash. It might be too strong for my computer. It just depends on your computer. All right. Let me make it thicker here. So what, how thick do I make it here on the handout? 0.4. Oh, it's a lot more thicker. 0.4. And there we go. Looks like a nice mug there. Maybe too thick. I can bring it down a bit. Uh, let me try 0.2. I like 0.2 better there. All right. <clears throat> Do not hit apply. Uh, Do not hit apply on these. We're going to need them for later. Uh, the one I will hit apply on is the uh, solidify here. Oh, sorry, I had to go to object mode. 
you cannot apply the solid the uh, modifiers in edit mode. So now I'm going to hit apply and solidify there. There we go. I'm going to take it back to edit mode so I can make the handle. All right. Also, you might have noticed uh, this right here. So it looks kind of weird. Let me go to object mode. So we just need to add additional geometry for that. So I have this bottom part here selected already. I'm going to hit the I key to create an inset. Inset. And then move the mouse inward. You can see there that weird uh, surface there is going away already. Tab key. Cool. And then up here, if you don't like the uh, edges up here, you can always go in between those edges there. Control R add a loop cut. Left click once, pull up. You can make it thicker or you can pull it down, make it and it'll be thinner or it'll be how it was before. I'm going to leave that there as is. The inside, I'm going to see the inside, but it does look a little weird. But we're okay. Tacky for object mode. Right click, shade smooth. There you go. See, it's already looking smoother. All right, got to make the handle. Tap key for edit mode. I made three for right view. I'm going to go over to face selection. I'm going to select this face here. Hold on the shift key and select this face there. All right. And then notice that um, there are the two right in the middle there. So there's not one exactly in the middle, but these are the, the two most middle ones. And I'm doing this from right view. Not one for front view. And I'm going to extrude these out by 1.3 blend units. E, X. 1.3 enter. There we go. I got a handle. Uh, if you like, you can hit G for grab and you pull your handle up. If you want to do that, I'm like a little little teacup here. Yeah, I'll do that. G for grab, pull it up a bit. There we go. I did that all in front of you. All right. So now I want to punch a hole in here for the for put my finger in there. I'm gonna select that face there. Hold on the middle mouse button. Go over to the other side. Hold on the shift key. And select that face there. There we go. And I'm also going to create an inset here. It's like a, an extrusion and a scale. So I can make a hole in there. So I'm going to inset by how much? How much? 0.35. So I, I for iguana, 0.35. Enter. There we go. Now we're going to punch it in there. So now that I scale down that additional face, I'm going to punch a hole through there. So I'm going to have those two faces selected. I'm going to go up here to face. And then, it's not a face, sorry, edge, edge. Go over here to edge. And then bridge, edge, loops. And there we go. If you still don't like the look of this, you can always select these faces here. So I got that face there selected, one for front view. G for grab and pull it in. There we go, maybe select this one up here too. And then rotate it or pull it up. There we go. You can also add additional geometry in here. Like for instance, uh, I think that's a little too far in. So I'm going to hit control R there. Uh, not there. Let me see. Let me select. Let me go to edge selection. If I can select the edges in there. Can't see it. So shift Z for wireframe. Cool. I got it there. All right. Shift Z again. G for grab. Pull it inward. And there we go. Tab key, make sure it doesn't look all weird. Tab key again. Cool. Let me see. So the bottom does look a little thinner there. As I can try to bring that back up. G for grab. I'll leave it like that. <clears throat> if you don't like that, that, uh, that curve right there, you want a sharper edge. So you can just add a, a loop cut in there and then you can bring it down. You know, bam. Same thing with that one. You can control R. Oops. Control R down here. Left click and go up. Uh, I like that one how it is. Control Z. There you go. I'll leave that one as is there. All right. Tab key. There you go. There's your mug. Now to color it, I'm going to go over here to rendered. It's already uh, looking reflective like a mug. I went to the render viewport shader. I'm going to click on materials and then you can apply the subdivision. I'm just going to leave it as is in case I want to make additional changes. All right. Actually, if you're going to UV wrap it, don't apply that. And it's going to, uh, it's going to do this. So if you hit apply, see all this geometry there in the inside, you're going to get all that. And it's just going to be a lot more challenging to uh, UV wrap it. But if you don't plan on UV wrapping it, then, then you go ahead and hit apply. But I'm going to UV wrap it. I'm going to put a picture there.
our materials new mug white mugs are usually white uh, specular here bring it all the way up specular tint all the way up and the roughness all the way down and there you go seeing a little shiny there porcelain let me select the light here and I'll bring it up front you can see it here so yeah, there we go cool nice looking mug all right so now to UV wrap it I'm gonna go to UV editing up here there we go one for front view over here Select the, my mug. I didn't take it edit mode because I have the light selected. So I'm gonna select the mug here and I'll take this to edit mode. There we go, face selection. I wanna UV wrap these faces here. Select this one here, all the way to over here somewhere. So I'm gonna hold the control key down and click this one there. There we go, maybe go a little further. There we go, one for front view. I guess I can still go further. There we go, one for front view, cool. All right, now to get a picture. I'm gonna go over here to go images. I'm gonna put this picture on there. A uh, picture of Michael Scott holding a mug. I'm gonna UV wrap it on there. All right, right click, save image as. Michael Scott plus mug, cool, I like that one. I like the name of that going on desktop, cool. Cause if it goes to the downloads folder, I'd have to relocate it. Save, cause Blender cannot access the downloads folder. All right, so back over here to Blender. And then rendered here so I can see it. And then I'm gonna go back to materials, a new material, so I already have the white there. So plus sign here, make sure it's in edit mode. New, Michael Scott. And then right here to the right of base color, I'm gonna click on this rivet here, a little circle there, and image texture. And I'm gonna click on open. And that picture's on my desktop here. Michael Scott bus mug, boss mug, double click. All right, now I'm gonna hit you right here, unwrap. All right, I gotta bring in the picture over here. Oh, actually, I can just hit a sign here, I think. There we go, I got it there. Let me see if I can UV wrap it again, unwrap. I get it, uh, get the right size. I guess I'll leave it as is. Or is there a cylinder projection? There we go, so cylinder projection look, work the better. So I'm gonna drag select that there. S for scale, and then X, so I can make it wider. Uh, it's not looking too good because of the sizes of these uh, faces here. See, these are wider, so make some this one thin over here. You wrap it again, just do a regular unwrap, and I'll just rotate it over here. Let's see, the other way, all right, so 90. G for grab, center it. S for scale. This one's looking better because of the um, the way it's bent, the curve here, follows the curvature there. All right, and I'm not gonna go out of the edges there, try not to, because if you do, it's gonna repeat the image. You see? So I'm gonna try to keep that in there. There we go. G for grab, bring that down. Cool, all right, layout. Back to the layout tab. And there we go, world's greatest boss, Michael Scott. And there we go. So thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.